Now, unless you've been living under the Great War, you probably would have realized that Disney has released its teaser trailer for the 2020 live adaptation of Mulan. I'm sure many of you aren't that invested in the archery in the trailer. Archery is archery, your bows are bows. But for those who are curious, the details may be more mysterious than the dark side of the moon. So for those who really want to find out about the archery in Mulan, let's get down to business. It's important to quickly note that the story of Mulan in the Disney film is a fantasy, idealized Chinese setting. Uh, there's no real time frame to look at. Um, after all, the original film has a Chinese emperor fighting against the Huns, uh, so that doesn't really occur in history. Uh, the actual historical figure, Hua Mulan, is set roughly 300 AD, so it's quite a long time ago, uh, but some of the design choices for the costumes, the weapons and the bows are more inspired by later periods of Chinese history. These are small details, but you'll see what I mean later on. Now we only see a few seconds in each scene, it's a teaser trailer after all, uh, but we do get one particular shot of the Imperial Army using bows in combat. So we see some of the design choices uh, made by Disney. Now the bows in China are actually influenced strongly by external invaders. So the Mongols and the Manchus brought their bows and their designs to China, especially towards the later dynasties. Now the bows used during Huan Mulan historical period might be more like this. Um, they would have used something more like the Han bows or the Tang dynasty bows. This one is a Ming dynasty bow. Uh, the, it's a thousand years after the Han Dynasty, but the design features are roughly similar. Now the bows we see in the trailer are more like these bows. Uh, this is a Qing Dynasty style bow, uh, so it has a lot of Manchu influence. And what you see definitively are these long ears, called Sia, uh, and these string bridges, which help keep the string on the bow. So you see them at full draw, drawn like this, and that's the profile that you get. So it's safe to say that the bows in Mulan are based on real Chinese bows, more towards the later part of Chinese history rather than the earlier part where the story would have been set. But again, we're working with an idealized Disney setting, so I'd say they're pretty authentic um, to what they're aiming to achieve. Later on, we get a sequence of Mulan actually shooting the bow, and it's a short sequence, but there's a lot to interpret, and a lot of people will point out certain things that look different or look wrong. In fact, we'll probably look at two different uh, perspectives. If you're not an archer, or you've seen archer on TV, you might think, whoa, that's on the wrong side. And if you are an archer, you might look at something else and think, whoa, that's the wrong technique. So let's examine this in a bit more detail and see whether this would be historically plausible. Firstly, this is Chinese archery. Uh, the Chinese archery styles or the Asiatic styles were quite different to Western styles. So if you're used to seeing the Robin Hood films that are using three fingers and drawing the left side of the bow and shooting like this, that's more of a Western style of archery. The Eastern styles are more defined by shooting from the right side of the bow as a right-handed archer. So you're left-handed, you reverse it, but for most people who are right-handed, you shoot from this side. So what she does in the film with the arrow on the right side is correct for the style depicted in the film. What is a little strange is the way she draws the string. Now historically with the Chinese style shooting from this side of the bow you would use a thumb draw. So the thumb is hooked around the bottom of the arrow and you draw it with one finger. And historically they would have used thumb rings as their method of drawing the string. Now in Mulan sequence, you see that she has all four fingers on the string. Now this would appear to be a form fault that would be impossible to do in real life. The reason being is that with three fingers or four fingers on the right side, you're more likely to lift the arrow off the bow. It's actually quite dangerous uh, and inaccurate to shoot it like this. So it can be done if you pinch it hard enough, but it's not the most consistent or safe way to use a bow. There is a way to use the fingers to draw on the right side of the bow, and that's a method called the Slavic draw. Now this can be done with three fingers or four fingers, and what normally happens is that you would have two or three fingers below the arrow, and your index finger is placed on the arrow. So that way you keep the arrow on the bow, and it won't fall off when you pull it back.
So it is plausible and it is a historical technique. And when we see Mulan do it in the trailer, she does clearly use a four finger draw with the index finger on top of the arrow. That's not a Slavic draw, that's more of a conventional draw. You can shoot like this, but again, you have that problem of the arrow coming off. So given that the actress is using a prop bow and the arrows are probably CGI, that's not surprising but it's not a common historical draw, probably would not have been used. Uh, this technique has been used in film before. The notable example of this is in the 2018 Robin Hood film with Taron Egerton. Um, he uses a modified Slavic draw, so it has the four fingers. Uh, it may be inspired by that particular technique. It may be uh, the Hollywood producers and directors using an easy method. Um, if you're going to make a film like this, um, you're either going to be using the more conventional uh, Mediterranean draw, which is more familiar with Western audiences, or you'll be using the more authentic thumb draw on the right side. So why does the moving Mulan do it this way? Uh, probably because archery is a very small part of the film. They're probably not hiring um, consultants or experts to train the actors. And uh, Mulan in the movie doesn't really need to use the bow as much. So uh, that's probably why she didn't get the training or doesn't use the right technique. So briefly, her technique is somewhat plausible in real life, but definitely not historically accurate. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting, whether you're an archery fan or a Disney fan. What do you think? Do you think the trailer is promising? Do you think the movie will be good? Is it enough to defeat the Huns? This is New Sensei, and maybe I'll make a bowman out of you.